Green Rider. Please see on Batman the Social Series. Pain would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. If Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Make them unmanageable. Our stock is dead. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. You're a good man. Selena, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... <laughs> You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> I could make an exception for you. Do you have any idea who I am? Sure, I do. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> the spoiled brat that nearly beat his replacement to death when they took away his company. And now you're here. Exactly where you belong. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. 
time to be your neighbors. Oh boy. That is not good. They're all yours. As you were. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not. But you're the next best thing, Wayne. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. You were lucky help came so quickly this time. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? Let's call him John Doe. Bingo! <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Hello, Doc. Our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you started to understand yourself here. Oh. Every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! You gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. You remember the first 
time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Layla? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting. <laughs> Use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Run them! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Oh, I know you can, but let's save that for later. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, Bill. Commercial break. Get up! You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Yep. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie crumbs. That's it. <laughs> It's not time for meds either. Beat it. Yeah. You're right. Lewis. That wasn't me. I've seen Lewis. That was. That was crazy, Lewis. See? What's that? It's not mine at all. At all. That man really did a number on this guy. Still out there. 
and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. This opens. Did John give you that key? Not, not this again. again. Wait, not, not what again? again. Not, nothing. Just, just go, go away. away. I'm busy here. Yeah. You heard him. Did it. Now what? can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Nothing. I don't know anything. John? I love that guy. Makes me laugh. I want to know something weird. No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? Nice trick. Listen now, Arnold's had a tough time in here, and he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get, get lost! Ha! I get it. He's a character. A terror. Boy, he paint. Every time, he cheats! She's already thinking. Mind control! Cheater! I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me! I don't want any trouble with the ordinance. It's not. That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. 
politicians usually bore me to tears. But this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim Pickens are out here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Oh my god! Won't someone save my baby? Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Getting your revenge just like you got your revenge on Coppleton? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you've enjoyed it. Dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of hurt drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham, Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing so your dad well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls. And now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but... You're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. 
All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure. One favor, it seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. I don't wanna do this. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drones. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz! What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? No! 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 I don't match him! Oh god, I don't match! You can fix that right now! No! This game feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone get me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I tried to stop it. The whole thing was the sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. See, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. What's that about? Doors turn shut, and we are out of armor. Mm -mm. No Arkham for Bruce Wayne. Later, in the streets of Gotham, no one remembers. 
at 23 p.m. Uh, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. The entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. We'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously, I'm plotting some sort of attack. People are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. Real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? What's going on here? But you're about to find out, Bruce. Kiss goo. <laughs> well, 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 Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Wayne. You must you really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, so hmm? Much <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Go ahead. I have nothing to hide. Doesn't sound like it. Besides, everyone's hiding something. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. You should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! Oh. Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. Nothing to say, huh? They should lock you up. Oh, God. I... Oh, first, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Go and run, dirtbag! Next one will be a warning shot! Right. The way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded. Hmm? Well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, son. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and ain't gonna make him happen. Hey, he's the problem, not us. Here. It's everything I have. Okay. Sure, that'll work. Sure, that'll work. 
This isn't over. Yep. And not a yeah, Take it up to City Hall. This does not look good. Mm -mm. And Bruce Wayne felt the drug. What do you, what do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Okay, okay, don't you, don't you think, think you're being just a little overdramatic? Over Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look, Look what he's done to you. you. And, you're and you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed and no one would ever know. You're right. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. Oh boy. We had to head out to the back cave and cure Mr. Wayne. See you around. Don't Good worry. Luck with all of this. We're gonna fix everything right. Right. At the back cave, you see still for the drug. just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. Any influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course, of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. He's, He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're you get right. nothing. No Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize the antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back computer. Okay. I'll make the preparations. Let's do this. Okay. It's, the first thing we should do is check the codex. Look at the news. May Dad has, a, has uh, done it.
diamond name. That computer's equipped to fabricate a counter agent. I helped design that computer, Bruce. No luck involved. I couldn't help but notice the color makeover down here. Blue suits you. I was thinking that that suit could use a little splash of color. Blue might look good for the kink and cow. Maybe some other time. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. You'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Do it. Let's inject this baby. We'll touch it on Bruce, and then we'll save some of the others. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I, I, I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Here it goes. That's the trick. It'll work. Felt better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <laughs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. Yep. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce, there were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. It wouldn't be too tough to locate them. Bingo! Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in a bat cave with you. Bruce! Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful.
sundown, 5.46 p.m. at Bell Residence. I'm inside the bell house. Let's take a look. See if anyone's home. Alfred, Alfred the veils are dead. One body confirmed that there was a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yep. Yes. This is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. And this seems personal. Photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. But why was it lying on the floor? It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive. No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. I'm looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Yeah. Something thrown. Nothing, Nothing I can see. see.
It appears Mrs. Vril attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Yep, it is Lady Arkham. Let's take a look at the next one. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vent entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she? Offered. I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Yep. Let's see what costs. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be alright. Something bad happened out here. I know it might be scary, but I need your help. Can you do that? Okay. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I, I heard someone say something. Something about drugs? Fighting the police? I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. Yep. See, that does help me. Thank you. Hey, Dad! A drone! Oh, boy. We got the guy, Mike. Get down! Watch out! Well, hello, Batman. What a pleasure to see you. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? 
save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. Thank God. He saved me. Yep. He's coming. Jesus. Is this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who is the boy then? He was hiding in a closet when the attack started. He may know more than he realizes. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything. But it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! 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 What's going on? Securing, Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Uh. Let me guess. Not you, let me I'm taking over this investigation. You want to join the police department? I can't you risk you allowing Batman, Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Why my Batman? Oh boy. That doesn't look good. Home sweet home. And guess like that. Fox is your home with 057. Tune in this Sunday only on Fox to see the Jeeps again. And so your bat stunner just it didn't work? That's what I did. And the bad feeling was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back of here. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. 
Oswald Cobblepot. Yeah. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Not a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Well, that might be true, but I really needed you here. Without that strobe grenade of yours, I might have been toast. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Yes! Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I have to do anything too drastic, we'll know we're on to it. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Look at the news! Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. Yeah. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. And again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he will react either way. Bruce has to go out himself. And quick! This is Bruce's problem. Not bad news. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. And away we Back to business. And we're at City Hall. At a film. Precisely, 9-12, That was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey, we need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. I have always supported you. You were my friend. Tell me, Bruce, were you thinking about our friendship when you were screwing Selena? Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. God deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. Oh, boy. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. The value of your estate it can be used to do a lot of good. I'll pay this city back on my terms, not yours. Nah, I think I like my terms better. I'm sorry, Bruce, but I can't back down now. I've got a lot of pressure on me right now. I get enemies everywhere, and strong leaders crush their enemies without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. That I would weed out the crime and corruption. Well, I'm not giving up on you. Not yet. I still want to believe in the Harvey Dent. Oh, you will. Everyone will. After they see what I've done to the children of Arkham. What do you mean? Ready to go. Do it. What the hell did you do? My Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. The mask is way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! We lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! 
We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? Why? Why would you do this? The police could have handled it. Batman could have handled it. No one had to die. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Bruce. It had to be done this way. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. That I am the guardian of Gotham. I understand now. The Harvey I was friends with was never real at all. You're a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham terror plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Tragic, but unsurprising. If you kill me, you better make sure I'm dead. Because if not, what I did to Cobblepot will look like a child's play. Good to know. Larry, let's go. Bye bye. Keep walking. You're cops! You're supposed to protect people. Keep them safe! Is this really what your badge stands for? This is how we're keeping people safe. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. Sound brainwashed. Brainwashed us? Help it. Doing the right thing. The mayor's the only one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I. I. How do you think that's where he's going to stop? You're just as crazy as he is. Maybe, uh, maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh... Nothing. Just think for yourselves. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than... This isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to do what it takes. Officer! Drop your weapon! You okay? Get yeah. Boy. You really should have been the time. How'd you even find me? Den just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Den's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. The amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arkham might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Dent needs to be stopped, Jim. Now. Or that block won't be the last thing that gets destroyed. We'll stop it. It ain't gonna be easy. It's a mess out there. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I handed them to my superiors and... 
this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head, as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Sounds to me like you're already on the right path. Weeding the bad seeds out of the department. Cutting down the enforcers. Yeah, I just hope it'll be enough. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Uh, I have a ride. Thanks, man. I've got to take you care of. Yep. What's the situation? I, I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it looks like a digital battery ram. Yes. If, if he keeps this up, he can smash through the bat cave firewalls at any minute. You'd have access to the back computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. The only place he can be hacking me from is when we win the prizes. And that's where we're going next. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Going to work. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Gadgets. No, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over the city, and everything. 
and anyone who can stop us! Not even you! Oh boy. But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we can control nations. You and your plans are over, Penguin. You're going down. Roll! This is just the start. You know, Wade was thinking, oh, he was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Lady Arkham, she has vision. Okay. Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Need Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. Not just fashion. It's very functional. Face it back. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. is the same as it's in. We will open your eyes. The city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off. I'm not telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find me. You're nothing but a pawn to her. 
And you're a fool if you think otherwise. <sighs> you don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. Oh, yes, you are. I'll die before I sell out the cops. Hey, Baguette, we're gonna cut you. But you can help yourself by talking. I'll stop her right away. That's that's just saying, and then I'm off to the point in Mosquare. And that's all. And moments later, the GCVD walked upstairs. <laughs> What, what the? the? What the? Do Just cut me down, mate. Right? And then uh, wait, Nightner. Just tell him Wayne put up a fight. No! 